This is one of the things that we have been waiting for for a long time. The consecutive is no longer affecting the score. Look at this level 4 Wildeby scoring 915 with 0% consec. It has an impact on the XP and the cash now, but this is one of the really big things about this patch. And I'm gonna go through a few of the other ones that really has a lot of importance to us in this video. They also said they were gonna reset the hunting lock and the leaderboards. Um, to my knowledge, I did not have any animal scoring more than a thousand, so I don't know if those were gone. But they did say on a Reddit post actually that they were only removing any animals higher than a thousand score. I can now confirm this is not true because I've lost a few thousand scoring ones and I probably lost a lot of the other ones as well. Although my diamond count is still the same, I am still sitting at 150 diamonds total. So that has not changed. We have also had an entire wipe of every single need zone in the game, they say. I have not been down here yet and I still have need zones. I am not sure why that's a thing. I'm honestly not sure about this patch. I have no idea what it, it's changed for me because it, it just seems weird. I updated the game. I have just shot two animals on Bahonga and now I'm on Leighton which I haven't touched and I don't know I'm, I'm not even sure that I got the reset but uh, yeah at least the consecutive harvest thing is out we also now have the ability to place even more tents you can now have 16 per reserve where you could only have eight before that is a good thing they've improved the pathfinding for all animals on all reserves I hope this is going to be a good thing I haven't played it enough to actually really see the effects of this but you can definitely come check out my twitch I'm going to be streaming later tonight so if you want to have a look at that firsthand and you cannot get to the game yourself check out the twitch twitch.tv slash DK. they've also fixed the issue with players on multiplayer games not being able to hunt geese Backpacks no longer makes noise when standing still. Fixed issue when the camera would flip when changing stance. I kind of like that one too. The 180 glitch should now be out, I hope. And they also changed the glow of the eyes of the wolves, which is a pretty, pretty good thing as well, because that just looked weird whenever you shot them and they were still glowing in the dark. And then there is also the breathing issue with some animals where it basically just looked like they were pregnant when you looked in the harvest screen and such. But with this patch, the only big thing that I'm actually going to be taking away from it so far is going to be the removal of the consecutive harvest, which has been known to cost a lot of diamonds in the entire community. It's going to be kind of interesting to see what the vibe is going to be on the discords and such. If you have any kind of feedback, make sure to leave it just so we can at least address it with the team behind the game as well. And uh, yeah. Feel free to join the Discord where there's a lot of people chatting about it. I have not tested it much yet. And make sure to check out the patch note. They are down in the description below. And uh, yeah, leave your thoughts. Thank you so very much for watching.